JavaScript has first class functions. This means that in JavaScript, functions can themselves be passed around like any other value, even as arguments to other functions. For example, we can pass to the set timeout function a function like so. So we pass to the set timeout function as the first argument a function that which it will call after the number of milliseconds we've passed as the second argument. So after one second, it's going to execute this function and this function just prints set timeout called to the console. So we can, we can see it getting called in the console there. The reason you're seeing it called twice is because every time I edit this file, it's automatically getting run and then set timeout's getting called again. The function we pass as argument to set timeout, this function here, we call this an anonymous function because it doesn't have a name. ES6 has introduced a slightly different syntax to define anonymous functions, and it's called the fat arrow syntax. With it, we can rewrite this function like so. And if the function only has one expression, we can in fact also drop these braces and shorten it to one line like so. Now we can see set timeout gets called again. Okay, but what if we wanted to pass an argument to the function? So let's imagine, let me comment this one out. Let's imagine we've got a function, an anonymous function that we assign to a variable. This is, this is called a function expression. So in the old world, we might type it something like this. So I've created a function called add. And when I call add one, two, it calls this anonymous function and returns three. With the fat arrow syntax, we can now rewrite this. We just delete function and we add a fat arrow. Let me console log this so you know something is happening in the console. There we go, three gets printed out. And again, because it's just one statement, we can remove the braces and just have it on one line. But if we do have it on one line, we don't need the return variable. In fact, it's an error to use a return variable. If we declare a fat arrow function with one expression, whatever the result of this expression is will automatically get returned from our fat arrow function. But as well as just providing a slightly shorter syntax for writing anonymous functions, fat arrow com functions come with one really important difference. Let's imagine we have an object with a function called say later, like so. Comment this stuff out. So in the say later function, this points to our object. Now imagine instead of just logging out this dot name, we in fact call set timeout and then have set timeout print this dot name a, a second later, like so. Then I clear this, hit save. Now, if I resave this and let's see what it prints out. Actually, what we're printing out on line 13, so you can see here this, this plunker preview target is actually from line 13 on script.js and line 13 is our console log here. So for some reason, we're now the text plunker preview target instead of asim is getting printed out. Why is that? So the reason for this is that the value of this in a function depends on how the function is called. At its most basic level, if the function is called as object.sayLater, the value of this is the calling context, which in this case is object. So if you call a function something dot the function, the thing before the dot acts as the value of this inside the function. But what is the calling context for the anonymous function we pass the set timeout? Because you remember, sometime later, one second later, set timeout itself 
calls the function. So what's the value of this in that function? And the answer is, it depends. In the browser, it's either undefined or the global object, depending on if you are running in strict mode or not. If you're running in node, it's an internal object. In all cases, however, it isn't going to be object. So this dot name is not going to return asim. It's going to return undefined or some other value. I describe this as the instability of this. It's an incredibly common problem in JavaScript that has affected it since the early days. In ES5, there are a number of methods we can use to stabilize the value of this. One common solution is to assign this to another variable at the top of your function, usually called self or VM, and then always refer to self in the function body, like so. So let's self is equal to this. And then we can see in the console, asim gets printed out from line 14, because on line 12, this pointed to object. We stored object as self, and then on line 14, when we're calling self.name, we're calling it on our object. But by the time the set timeout executes this here, this points to something else. This isn't the object anymore. But with ES6, we can do better. If we use fat arrow functions, the value of this inside a fat arrow function will be the same as the value of this outside the fat arrow function. So it uses the value of this from the surrounding code for its context, i.e. whatever this points to in the surrounding code, this will point to in the function body of the fat arrow function. So we can rewrite our code to use a fat arrow syntax like so. Do it in the set timeout and let's turn it to one line as well. And there we go. Now we see asim printed to the console. That's because at this point, this is equal to object. Because we're using the fat arrow syntax in our set timeout function, the value of this it uses is the value of this outside of that set timeout function and that points to object. And that's why when you print out this dot name in our set timeout function, we get asim printed out as we expect. So in summary, the new fat arrow function syntax in ES6 is far more than just a slightly shorter way of writing anonymous functions. It has finally solved the thorny issue of stabilizing the value of this that has affected JavaScript since the start and caused so many workarounds to be discussed and applied in code.